Hey guys, so continuing with our really cheap Chinese lure series, you guys ever tried out one of these really cheap, low budget cicada topwater thingies? Well, if you have, don't get one of the really cheap ones. So a while back, I ordered this, again, in one of those cheap Chinese e-packets. Uh, it's listed as one piece cicada bass insect fishing lures, four centimeters, crankbait, floating tackle, spory hot. Again, all those keywords. Uh, came to me, again, <clears throat> in a few weeks. But uh, it's one of those kind of, you know, like we've got now, like with the uh, Savage Gear uh, bat. It's kind of a little like rocky lure that kind of like wiggles through the top of the water. Pretty cool, you know, concept for it. The lure, uh, when I got it, I opened it up. The mold itself looks pretty cool. Uh, the hooks on it are kind of cheap, you know, the shiny metallic hooks on it. So you can tell, like, they'll probably break pretty easily. But uh, the little wings on it are the little flappers that cause this thing to rock in the water. Well, uh, I took this thing out a couple of days ago. I uh, got a little bit of footage on it because as soon as I threw this thing out, it sucked. Anyway, it's listed here. I got the thing on eBay. I didn't spend much for it. Again, it's one that just kept popping up all the time. I had to see, well, it's always here in my face when I'm looking for all these cheap lures. I figured I got to try one. But uh, there's a couple different styles that were coming up. When you look at the main page for the listing for this, it's one that has like an aftermarket, kind of like an afterthought insert over top of it with a little like fin on it. Maybe you guys know more about them than I do. It's just not a type of lure I've ever really used. Uh, I'm sure that's there to help it, you know, stop it from spinning, like corkscrewing through the water. But again, it's listed as Canadian 99 cents. I bought it, again, 78 cents. It's a couple of cents for shipping. I'm like, what's the point for that? Um, this one here, uh, it comes directly to you from China. Again, uh, this one here, I believe, and I purchased it. Uh, the color is kind of selected at random. Again, they're four centimeters. I just want to get to check it out. The uh, little flapper wings on it here are kind of like hinged kind of and it's got small little Phillips heads on the bottom so it's a pretty complicated looking mold so the mold itself is pretty cool but here's the problem with it with this one at least when I was throwing it out I don't care if I popped it if I rolled it slow if I burned it this thing instead of just rocking it would simply corkscrew it would just spin and spin and spin in the water uh, actually goes subsurface and spin. What's that doing? It's kinking my line all up. If you got braid, it'll mess your braid up pretty darn bad too. But uh, it was just spinning. I mean, hypothetically, I guess if I put like a, uh, a swivel clip on it and attach it to the line, the thing might actually probably catch fish spinning around like that. But uh, in essence, these are really soft wings on it. The mold, like I said, the, the cicada itself actually looks pretty cool. So it almost just uh, take the wings off and use it kind of like as a little like top water, you know, walk the dog popper kind of thingy on it. But uh, as a little rocking, you know, rock, rocking uh, lure on it. It's listed here. Um, let's see if it has any description on it. Otherwise, there's a few different colors on it. Doesn't really say much about it, uh, about the, the operation of it. But uh, this one here. The action sucks on it, so don't just don't buy this one. Uh, or if you do, maybe you'll get lucky on it. But uh, spend a little bit more money, get a higher quality lure when it comes down to one of these top water cicadas. But uh, this one here is dirt cheap anyway, so less than a candy bar at your local convenience store. But uh, that's it. Looks pretty good actually. But uh, this one here at least, unless you've had better luck than me, the action stinks on it. So can't recommend this one guys thanks for watching we'll get some more uh, coming up I got a whole box down here all sorts of lures that I got uh, a lot of crank baits uh, I've gotten some that are pretty cool lately the boxes I just gotten lately uh pretty cool lures so compared to this one at least but uh still trying to get them out still waiting for the river to clear up so we can get the water wolf out more and uh, get some cool underwater shots like we've been doing a few months back 
But uh, thanks for watching again. We ask you to click and subscribe to the Fishy Acker YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, and we'll catch you on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.